In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to green screen a champion. This will be a two part tutorial. The first part I will be showing you is how to apply the green screen through League Director, and the second part will be how to apply the green screen video that you recorded into a video editing software. For the second part, I will be using DaVinci Resolve as my video editing software, which they do offer a free version if you're wanting to follow along. All programs I will use will be linked in the description below. So to start off, you're going to want to go into a game and you want to find where you want your shot. So for me, I just went to practice tool and just had Cassiopeia just sit right here. So once you have found the shot that you want, you are going to want to go down to your camera and you're going to want to click on FPS camera. So now if you use your mouse, your left click and your right click and your arrow keys on your numpad, so H4, uh, six and two in your numpad, you should be able to move around now. You can kind of get the shot that you want. So for me, I'm just gonna go something like this, something very basic and simple. Now going into League Director, we're gonna go to the Visibility tab first, and you're going to wanna turn off everything besides the replay, the score, characters, and particles. So it's going to look something like this. Oops, there we go. So it's going to look really weird because definitely once you disable the show environment, that's going to really turn off a lot of things. So make sure it's all like that. Then you're going to want to move over to your rendering tab. And then this is where you're going to want to mess with your far clip. So your far clip is going to be how far things render when you're viewing it. So the lower the value, things are not gonna be rendering at a distance. So you can just highlight the value and use your mouse wheel going down and that will slowly bring down the value or you can just type. But you can see as I lower the value, you're gonna see that the structures are slowly starting to just disappear. And then you wanna make it so there is nothing but just the sky box. So you're gonna wanna go slow because if you go too much, then what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna be cutting off your character like this. So you wanna mess with your far clip so you don't have anything in your skybox like this. I gotta go down further. And right there, I have everything I need, which is just the plain skybox. And then I just have my character. So my character looks like uh, Cassiopeia is just floating. So once you get that, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to your rendering tab then you're gonna to go to just your skybox and then color green. So here you'll see that you'll have your green screen. This is gonna be the start of your green screen. So you're gonna have your character and you shouldn't have anything else in your shot besides the green and your character. And once you have your green screen shot ready, go ahead and start recording and press P on your keyboard to play the replay. I personally use OBS to record my shots, and once you are done recording, you can go ahead and throw that clip into your video editing software and begin the chroma keying process. I will be uploading part two of this tutorial, which will be showing you how to chroma key through DaVinci Resolve. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in part two.